All right, guys, we start now. Of course, in the beginning, we always do a hit, as always, of course. Now my wife took me to a yoga class. Just uh, we just get got back from the yoga class, and I decided that I will be a complete mazuha, mazuhist, mazuhist. I don't, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, mazu something. I will and do. I will completely drain myself by stream, by streaming, because streaming is important. We have to stream sometimes. And this stream, by the way, is interesting because I will do a full human body, a uh, female body, just a normal anatomy female from scratch in Blender, as you <laughs> most likely know. And it will be mm, from imagination. Yeah. Because I am training for my newest course, and that's why I'm doing this stuff. Let me show the screencast keys. Because otherwise, most of you will say, but huh, what keys are you pressing, Nico? Why don't you show us? Uh, here they are. The keys that I'm pressing are here. Just <laughs> show. Just waiting for the Brazilian gang to show up. Yes, Brazilian gang is near here. And also, Turkish people will come. And we will be one big happy family. Maybe Indian people will not come that much, although they usually are here because there are a lot. India, I think, officially is now the biggest country by population in the world, uh, um, even before China. I think that there was some rumor about it. I'm not sure if it's true. Maybe people will say. But India, pretty cool, right? They were second, now they're first. But China, they will say, nobody can take our first place and they will start making babies like crazy. And they will take over in a couple of years, maybe like 20. <laughs> yeah, uh, less than 20 years, it will be difficult, but about 20 years could be cool. Ooh, Iranians, Iranians or Iranians, I'm not sure. And uh, Egyptian people, everybody's here. I don't know, Bulgarians, are they here? <laughs> ah, Turkish people, merhaba, merhaba. Merhaba, Nasılsın. And... Um, Hola, que pasa? Uh, for the Sp Spanish people, Spanish people, speaking people. Hola, que pasa, amigos? I am trying to learn Spanish because Spanish, you know, is one of the most common languages in the world. Latin America mostly speaks Spanish. I'm trying to learn it from Duolingo, but it's, yeah, you know, it's not very easy. But there's some some words. Ah, it's nice. It would be nice. So Thin Joe, it will be kind of an anime girl. Thin Joe, thin neck, long neck, not so thin but long. Uh, the <laughs> now the forehead looks like Neanderthal, so we will try to make it a little bit more femaleish, at least. Hello from France. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, France. That looks more oh, Bulgarian. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Hi, Nico. Do you think every character artist have to struggle during their timetable? Yes, of course they have to struggle. Everybody has to struggle. If there is no struggle, <clears throat> there is no success. You know, struggle is important. You have to struggle. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, if you are happy with what you do, if you are kind of um, you know, you find sculpting am amazing and uh, nice and cool thing to do, then it will not be struggle, I think. But, yeah. Nico, have you been in Spain? Yes, I have been in uh, Malaga and uh, Andalusia and uh, a lot of places in southern Spain. It was very cool, by the way. But now in southern Italy, also is cool. So southern nations are nice. <laughs> I like I like south south people. Although usually, by some coincidence, the southern parts of uh, Spain and Italy are a little bit more, a little bit, especially in Italy, are a little bit um, less rich, we may say, or poorer. 
But uh, they are not poorer than Bulgaria, so I'm completely okay with that. This is Michael Jackson. No, it's not. Okay, let's go sphere down. Uh, this will be the rib cage. And now, all right. So, uh, of course, I will make her with a little bit of a dynamic pose. I mean, a pose, but dynamic a pose. So, the rib cage will go forward. Then we'll have our belly, and then we'll have the ass on the bottom, which will go back. So everything will be like a C curve, but we'll see how it will go. The C, we'll see. We'll see the C. We will, we, will we see the C? If you can smell my bread, by the way, it's um, garlic bread, because uh, my wife made me eat some salad with the garlic, and now I am burping garlic, and it's... It's interesting. I mean, I'm not saying it's disgusting or something. It's just uh, you have to be glad that you cannot smell how I breathe and what I breathe in, from the internet. It's cool. America here. Ooh, America. Hi, Nico. Do you know Flycat? There are many anime girls on the channel. Yes, I know he's making mostly anime stuff. Flycat, but usually he's not talking in his videos, at, at least as long as I know. The fly cat is not speaking that much. I'm speaking a little bit more than him. Let's say a lot more than him. I'm speaking that much more than him. Um, uh, the same that uh, that Blender is uh, cheaper than ZBrush. Yeah, it's kind of cheaper. And I'm speaking kind of more than him. Okay. All right, oh, let's make a little bit bigger. Yeah, why not? It's it's our model. We can do whatever. It's cool. So the tricky part on the female body is, um, yeah. If have to, if I have to be honest, the most tricky part in the female body sculpting is everything, completely everything. It's tricky. So yeah, don't uh, don't blink because everything is very tricky. You see how I'm doing the the fat pads here, fat pads here. <laughs> those fat pads are very nice, by the way. I, I, everybody is like liking those fat pads here, especially. We are um, fascinated as men by those particular fat pads just below the back. They are very very. How to say um, peculiar? I always kind of when I see girls on the street, I kind of I don't know why, but my eyes they just go there accidentally. It's not me. I'm not doing it. It's mother nature. <sighs> but it's cool. I mean, it's normal. It's uh, it's something that you can control, but you choose not to because it's nice. You can control, I, I can control myself to not look. And sometimes I do not look. Because especially if the girls uh, will notice that I'm looking, it's not good. I mean, it's not cool. It's not cool. So we have to look like, you know, hidden. We have to be hidden. And just look for less than a couple of seconds. I mean, like two seconds and no more just two seconds is enough or are enough is enough are enough i don't know okay let's go uv sphere this will be our arm the upper arm this upper arm is a little bit big but it will be interesting <laughs> it's too big i mean yeah you will see but i think it will be cool now this will be also our leg what what is Nico doing? Is he crazy? How this can be leg? But bear with me here. Relax. We'll do it. Don't worry. We'll do a mirror modifier. This way it will be easier. Now, uh, legs and arms in the same... Mm, in the same mesh, it, it's not completely cool. So I'll probably separate them. So I'll go to edit mode. P, selection. Now they are separate. Now I'll select this and make the lower arms. 
Uh, I can make the lower arms from the mesh itself without copying it, but uh, this way I, I find it a little bit easier. Ooh, uh, a lot of people are writing. Let me just try to... Okay, okay, let's go and answer some questions, if they are questions, of course. I don't think they are questions, because you people are my students and also my adults, so you know everything, you shouldn't have questions. Yeah. Hello, Nico Frank. America here, Nico, what's the absolute best computer for sculpting? Absolute best computer for sculpting is with the absolute best uh, processor, with the absolute best video card, and with the absolute best RAM, or not best RAM, but a lot of RAM. So this is usually uh, your gaming computer will be, I mean, one good gaming computer usually will be really good for sculpting in Blender, because gaming computers have big video cards or nice video cards usually. And they don't have too much RAM, but usually uh, more than 16 gigabytes of RAM is enough. Privet from Russia. Privet, Mother Russia. Some people start 3D as a hobby. Yes, what do you think of Martin Verhoeven? I, I think I've heard of him, but I'm not sure. Finally, the female one, thank you for doing this stream. Yeah, yeah. Nico, the beginners in 3D are discouraged for the AI and don't try as much uh, as they can. What do you think? I think uh, they probably, it's normal. I think it's normal because I myself was uh, discouraged by the AI in the beginning of this year. But then I decided to just, uh, you know, go with the flow. And whatever happens, maybe I will start using AI in my workflow at some point. We'll see. So I'm not super discouraged. And as a beginner, you have to also go and uh, when the AI comes, the good AI for the 3D, you have to grab it and try to get good in this. Because, you know, even with the 3D AI, in the beginning especially, there will be a need for people to uh, make it work. I mean, people who understand a little bit about 3D programs, a little bit about the 3D models, just, just basic stuff. So I think that, we'll see. Hello, Nico. Hello, bodybuilder forever. Forever. Nico, can you say aguacate? Ag aguacate. What is this aguacate? It's something like advocate uh, uh, or lawyer or uh, agua. Agua is, uh, is water, so aguacate. I don't know. Why don't you use remesh? I will relax. Remesh will be used, but just in the beginning, we are doing the, the overall form, so don't worry. Hey, Nico, why is not the Cyber Orc tutorial in your portfolio? It was the uh, it's most fun thing I've done in a, a long time. Uh, why is it not in my portfolio? Look a little bit closer in our station. The iRig have something wrong with it. Okay. Hi from Bangladesh. Oh, hello. Nico, can you make a ghost in the shell character for us? I don't know. Will you use reference photo for face? No. What's the new career? Nobody knows. Do people often tell you that you are super fast? Yes. And these days they are starting to tell me that I'm super fat also. Although I'm not super fat, but I'm starting to get a little bit fatter each day. <laughs> no. Just uh, like four kilos uh, I gained last year. Hopefully no more. We'll see. Um, I'm upgrading my rig and I'm going for 64 gigabytes of RAM. I think it's cool. Nico, what are your mo five most used sculpting brushes? Uh, they are the just the drag draw the drag brush or it was the move brush. Yeah, the move brush. What what was it called in in Blender? I forgot. Grab brush. <laughs> just the grab brush is one of the most, you know, the draw brush. Uh, draw sharp brush, clay strips, and scrape peaks, and of course the smooth. Hello from Ukraine. I like your sculpt so much. Thank you, Alexander. Avocado. Ah, avocado is avocado. Okay. Can I hope you're doing fine? I started ZBrush recently. Any suggestions to start building a portfolio? What softwares would be best for rendering and texturing for a beginner intermediate? Uh, Rendering and texturing, rendering from ZBrush, if you want just to render your models, Keyshot is a very good tool. But I think these days ZBrush comes with Redshift rendering engine. 
I don't know how it works exactly because I haven't opened ZBrush in a long time. But yeah, and uh, of course texturing a Substance Painter for now I think is the best. Привет, сколько лет в 3D? А, в 3D сколько лет? I, I started 3D in around 2004, I think. So, almost 20 years in 3D, but in sculpting, maybe 11 years or 12 or, or 10. But you said the fatter you are, the better artist you will be. I think that's true. It's not aguacate, it's abacate. Hi from Brazil, hello. Do you do work for furries? No, I, haven't, I don't. Is Luda Puteva still very popular in Bulgaria? It's always uh, popular uh, in Bulgaria, this song. Luda Potebe. It's a Chalga song. It's a, Chalga is like a popular music in Bulgaria for mostly for people with a little bit lower intelligence, which are most of the people, usually. So I don't listen to this kind of music, but also those like this song and others, they are like um like evergreens or something already. Because they are kinda old. And yeah, they are cool. Hi Nico, didn't uh, know you were streaming today. Yeah, I didn't know uh, like uh, one hour ago. I didn't know that I will stream. Welcome to the fat side. Do -do -do -do. <sighs> Welcome to the fat side. Why people use 3D code? Isn't Substance Painter good for painting? It's very good. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good. What does people eat in Bulgaria? We eat mostly. We, we try to avoid uh, things uh, to eat like glass and uh, fabric. We try to not eat those. Usually we try to uh, concentrate our eating habits on food. That's mostly true for us Bulgarians. I know that for other nations maybe this is not exactly true. But for us it's like normal. And that's why we are different, you know. Uh, all people are different. We are not the same. That's the thing. But we eat mostly food in Bulgaria, yes. Hi from here, Brazil. <laughs> Hi from here. What is here? Ah, Brazil. Okay, good. You're Brazil. <laughs> I researched about... Okay, I'm currently to practice sculpting the head from your course. Thank for the awesome course. Thank you very much. Have you always been interested in characters in 3D or something else to know? I have always been interesting, interesting in characters. But uh, in the beginning, when I was young, I was drawing them mostly, not sculpting them. Now... I am sculpting them, mostly, not drawing them. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the difference. But still characters, you know. Although, when I was young, I was not doing females. And now, the female courses are the, the best sellers. So, I learned how to make female anatomy, especially for my course about the female anatomy, which is a, you know, a separate course about female anatomy I have. And it's, uh, I think it's very useful for everybody who will want to be all, an all-around uh, better character artist. This course will be good for you. Now, the face doesn't look exactly like a female face for some reason. We have to try to achieve a better femaleishness. <laughs> femaleishness is a thing, right? Yeah. I know, femaleishness. From now on, if you don't know, femaleishness is a thing. Let's go to the legs and uh, control R and then start working on them. Now I will, uh, uh, in order to do the, the calves, I will inflate. I'm just using inflate here because I need more volume there. That's why I'm inflating. Now I will move the all uh, lower leg backwards like this. And uh, also we need bigger uh, fat pads here in the back. We need bigger fat pads there and we need to kind of mark where our pelvis will be. A little bit of a belly. Here we can make a little bit of a, you know, a indentation between the muscles of the abdominal, abdominal muscles. This thing, okay. <laughs> this thing is the belly button if you don't know. But uh, yeah, usually it's it's good idea. It's a little bit of a better idea to use references when you're sculpting, especially females, because females are tend to be a little bit difficult. Um, yeah, and I'm not using now reference. Why? 
because I'm a fucking show off, you know. And I usually don't say fucking, but in this case, uh, it since it's uh, it's too much true. I'm a show off. Don't be like Nico. Don't be a show off. Just use your references because Nico now will struggle because he doesn't prepare references for him, for himself, and he will suffer the consequences of a bad model in the beginning. But Nico, since he has a lot of experience, at some point, maybe around the one and a half hour, this will start to look bad, I guess. Now it's looking not super bad. I I'm not saying that it looks super bad in any case, but there are a lot of problems because I just put the legs and we have issues there. I just will, you know, the arms, we will have to have fingers even, which is, you know, wow, fingers for two and a half hours, fingers, what? Uh, two hours, I mean, not two and a half. Uh, I'm interested in your courses. From what platform do you prefer that people buy them? Yes, that's a very good question. Thank you for this question. Um, Green Lotus. Green Lotus. So Green Lotus is asking from which platform I prefer you to buy my courses. Now, our station has a sale. And when you buy my course from our station, now I get like $14.5 from the sale, which is a lot. I mean, it's like 90%. So our station usually is the best place you can buy my courses. But if you want to have your, the courses always uh, available when you have internet, uh, Udemy is your place. But the best way for me to get the most of the money from the Udemy course is to buy them from the promo link in the description of the video in my other channel. In the description of each promo video of each course I have, you will find links to Udemy, which are promo links, from that links, I get most of the money. If you go through that link and buy the course. So, either go through the link and buy it from Udemy or Udemy, or go to our station and buy it from there. Doesn't matter how you buy it from our station. Our station are just the best. They are giving the creators 90% of the money. Kind of, 90, 90 something. I'm not sure exactly, but a lot of the, I mean, n not any other platform is giving that much money to the creators. Because our station now is owned by Epic Games, I think, yes. And they are so rich, they can afford it without any issue. I think that's the reason mostly. But that's, uh, <clears throat> that doesn't mean that we don't have to be thankful for their generosity, maybe. Yeah, that's very cool. <clears throat> I'm making way less sales in our station than Udemy, but I'm making kind of not similar money from our station, maybe half, but it's, uh, you know, with way, way less sales, I'm getting almost half the money that I'm getting from Udemy. That's pretty cool. So for the knees, I usually do this. I just do uh, one plane pointing a little bit downwards and one plane pointing forward like this. And this is the knee. Of course, that's a stylized knee, but it works. So, yeah, I think we're okay. When it works, it works. A little bit more interesting pose of the legs. Now, you will see something amazingly bad, but <clears throat> I studied basic head anatomy in Nico's course, and now all head looks like Nico. <laughs> Uh, hi, 90 minutes passed and YouTube didn't recommend this to me while I turn on notifications. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is a little bit, but doesn't matter. I mean, we are, we are cool. It, uh, YouTube is a good platform, so we are fine. Drawing character in 2D, front side back profile, model character based of the 2D references, skill for detail, are this good step for follow? Yes, of course. Uh, everything which is practice is a good step to follow. How to buy your courses from Iran? I'm not sure. I haven't been there and I don't know, but uh, I have to go, by the way. I heard that Iran is a very good place to visit right now. And I'm not joking. There are people who say that now Iran is a good place to visit. I don't know why, but it's a good touristic uh, place. They have good food or oh, you have good food. So, yeah. How often do you broadcast live on YouTube? Around once a week this, these days. Your anatomy course is magnificent. I learned a lot. Greetings from Argentina. Thank you very much. Just bought three of your courses on Udemy. That's cool, yeah? Thank you. Do you want a representative? Representative. I don't know. I don't know if I need one. 
Same thing happened to me. I missed the start of this video by 20 minutes because of YouTube. YouTube is uh, shit. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. Probably they will demo demonetize this video. I, I don't monetize my videos <laughs> though. So it doesn't matter. Let them demonetize the not monetized videos. So it will be interesting to watch how they do that. Uh, by the way, we will make the, the feed. If you want to make a female feed, which looks more attractive, you have to do this. You have to make them on high, high heels. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to make them more attractive. It's not gonna be impossible. I'm saying it will be difficult. So the easiest way is this. And I'm taking the easy route because uh, we don't have too much time. That's why I think the easy route will be the best in our case. The Achilles uh, tendon here in the back always we make it and now it looks very bad but if I just remesh it and now we have to make something like to look more like a foot because it was looking like a, not like food exactly our station isn't accessible from Iran unfortunately okay you can try flip normals you can try whatever you can try everything Flip normals is good also, although they are, uh, nowadays uh, it's interesting in flip normals by the way, I don't know why, but um, for example my last course about the Viking, I put it for $20, but suddenly I see that they selling it for $24 or something like this, maybe I haven't seen right, but I see uh, that they selling it more expensive than I you know, I put the price twenty dollars as all of my courses in uh, Flip Normals, and they are selling it for more than that, for twenty four, and I am getting from that thirteen dollars. So, yeah, uh, Flip Normals are a little bit more, let's say, you know, I don't know what was the word greedy. Greedy is a good word, although they are nice people, but when you make something like a company i am myself i don't have any people working for me which uh, is good because i can afford to sell my courses in any price i want i uh, just am okay but flip normals they are now a company they have employees and they need to pay salaries and stuff and some of their employees most likely are from uh, expensive countries which the, their salaries are kind of, you know, big. That's why they need to make more money. Our station, they don't care. Epic Games don't care. Do you ever try Chinese food? Of course, I've been in China, so I probably have tried it. But Nico, how, long, how is your sexy girl course going? No, I haven't started it. I'm just practicing for it right now. Uh, because I'm afraid uh, of this course. It's it's very intimidating. The concept is super intimidating, I would say. Ultra intimidating, I would say. So, yeah, I'm I'm afraid. I, I'm really afraid of this concept. I I can say. So, uh, if you are afraid of some concept or of some work, um, remember that uh, professionals. We also sometimes have this fear of the dark fear of the dark fear of the dark and stuff like this you know but in this case is fear of the concept fear of the armors because you see armors pretty complex and uh, weapons also and it's not a problem nothing of this is a problem the problem is that they will take a lot of time. That's the only problem. Not the how I will do them or something. I will manage to do them. I will make it work. But it will take a long, long time. So probably I have to start it, right? Yeah. I will start it at some point. Most likely. I bought a male anatomy course. And my wallet is crying. <laughs> you have to take... You have to make a... I mean, to make a bigger wallet. When I was a student... 
I always say that and you probably know all of you know what I'm talking about but I had a very little amount of money so in my case I was getting my courses and everything that I'm I learned from from the torrent sites and I'm not afraid to admit it it's just normal I mean you don't have money how can you afford to pay even $20 uh, I was living on like uh, maybe two hundred dollars a month which is not a lot and you have to you know to buy food with this and i was hungry <laughs> because i'm not a small guy i'm one meter and uh, 90 92 93 centimeters something like this and i was then like 95 kilograms so i have to support this kind of body you know uh, and I was going to the gym also, so eating was expensive. And I had just $200 a month to spend. Mm, not easy, not easy. But I managed, so yeah, uh, with torrents of course. As I said, torrents are the best. So don't hesitate if you don't have money to just go to the torrents and just buy the courses from there. They are pretty less expensive there. Like Blender and ZBrush, you know, I always say Blender is pretty much less expensive than ZBrush. <laughs> we need the Scarlet Surface course. <laughs> Hello Nicole, pleasure watching you. Do you ever miss Zero Measure? Uh, yes. Or do you not even feel the need to use it? Uh, I miss it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Also, were you using la layer system in ZBrush before? Not that much. Which take more time, sculpting or retopology? Retopology, uh, I mean, sculpting takes more time probably, but it's much more fun. So retopology, uh, in my head, takes more time because it's boring. You're more like motivational than anything in YouTube. Yeah, I'm the most motivational thing in YouTube to get a good beard, you know, just uh, put the beard, grow and, uh, you know, everything and shave your head. Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity. Um, yeah. If I uh, get hungry again, probably I will not be that generous. But for now, I am getting well. So, yeah. I see a lot of reference in that Pure file. <clears throat> you will never get it. This Pure file, I have gathered it for a long, long time. And I have uh, things that are very, very cool and nice. And things that I, have, I shouldn't show because they are from freelance. So, concentrate on... Just on the this concept, you know. Where did you pick your computer then? Did you find it? Yeah, it was on the... Just I was walking on the street. And suddenly, I, I, I heard something. I heard something like... Bing, 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 bing. And I look at behind one bush. And there was my computer, but it was small. And I took it home. And I feed it. And it become bigger and bigger. And now it's a big computer. Powerful computer. Uh, but I found it, yes, on the streets. What about software? Did you use torrent? Of course, of course, but now no. Now I don't use torrents. I use Blender, not from torrent. I buy Blender directly from the internet. Nico, did you do, uh, ever do animation in Blender? Not, no. I use ZBrush from a torrent, so I understand you, yeah. How do you use torrent? You open the torrent and you download it for, with the torrent software and stuff. You speak Spanish, si sí, senor. Uh, yo hablo español. Yo hablo español. No problema. Mucho gracias. Mucho, mucho gusto. Hablo. Hablo perfecto. There is a plugin to have Zoom in Blender. Yes, you have. Uh, I have it. I have it. Nico, I'm making a cosmic book, comic book, and uh, a movie. You want to help with characters? I'll pay seriously. Yeah, contact me in uh, in. In my Discord server, contact me in the Discord and we'll see what we can do about it. How to get into Torrent? I've bought two of your courses and right now I have no money to get another course of yours. You have to find it, you know. Uh, they are free, but you have to find them. <laughs> that's that's the catch. Wait, is that concept you stole from me? The girl with close eyes and ginger hair? Um, yes. I'm stealing from whatever I can, you know. Because you don't own them, so it's not a problem. And I'm stealing a lot from uh, the the AI. 
a lot of stealing from the AI is happening, you know. Raising a computer, nice story, yeah, I know, I know. But Nico, you haven't thought about making a website to sell your courses and not depending on other website. No, no, I haven't. I, I mean, I thought about it, but it's a big deal. I mean, you have to pay for server, you have to pay for other stuff, you have to support it, and you have to advertise it, and it's... I don't think it's... For now, it's it's okay to sell them from Udemy and from our station. They are happy, I'm happy, they're supporting their site, and everything is okay. Yoniko, I synced my PC fans with the sound. So, is it bright and color in my room when you speak? Ah, that's cool. That's cool. How often do you update Blender? Do you like to use add-ons for final projects in Blender? I usually don't use add-ons because I'm a teacher and usually I don't want to, you know, overwhelm the people that I'm teaching with, you know, those kind of things. But I up update Blender when I see a version that's worth it and I, I try to keep myself updated most of the time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grammatic issues. Yeah, sometimes. Slava Ukraine. Garden is cool. Thank you very much. Are you talking about quadrimesher? Exactly. Buena Español. Yeah. What is torrent? <laughs> Whoa, si habla. Si habla, yeah. But Nico, hello from Detroit. Ooh, Detroit, Michigan. Very nice. Hello, Nico. Couldn't catch the last uh, live, but I saw it afterwards. Thank for rewarding. Reviewing my station, feedback was very helpful. Very good. Do you use multi res for final details or full destructive? I fully, fully destructive because multi res is a little bit buggy in Blender. It's not like in ZBrush. And I like to not use it that much. I don't like to use it, we may say. That much. Those legs I don't like now. But we'll see what we can do. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, concentrate on the fingers because we don't have them. But first, let's do the arms. So a little bit better arms will be in order. We need probably something like an elbow here because usually people without elbows are rare and they don't look good. I'm sure they don't. They don't. I'm sorry about if anybody uh, here in the chat is without an elbow. I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, it's. I'm just saying the facts, you know. Without elbow, you will not look good. So, try to not lose your elbows. That's my advice for you, for this stream. Exact stream, yeah. Using, uh, I mean, losing your elbow will mean, mean a lot. I don't know if you can find a spare elbow if you have to or something, but elbows are important. Without them, you will probably not be able to, at least you will not be able to, uh, bend your arms, most likely. I'm not sure about that exactly, but uh, I'm not a specialist in mm, in anatomy, although I am kind of. So yeah. <laughs> Torrance is the mount mount for Elder Ring, of course, yeah, of course. The amount of traffic you get on a website that sells 3D courses from one guy is almost nothing. You can run your own server in your apartment. Well, yeah, probably. Was there a particular reason for you to switch from ZBrush to Blender? Hmm. Yeah, mostly, I think, when I analyze myself and my moves, I think I switched because... Um, I was wondering whether I will be able to do it. Whether I will be able to do everything I did in ZBrush in Blender. To use this absolutely free program, and use it absolutely commercially and, you know, make money from it. And it works and I'm so, so glad. And also, another reason, Blender has a lot more mm, people involved in it than ZBrush. So my courses are better off made from, with Blender than with ZBrush. That's a good reason, right? Yeah, commercial reason, uh, but it's a reason, right? Yeah, so it's cool. Commercial reason, you know. Hello, can you greet me, please, please? Greet, I greet you, Elena. I greet you. Okay? Now you're greeted. Uh, you have to be very happy to be greeted by this bald Bulgarian guy with the beard and one eyebrow. This is a huge honor. I mean, 
you cannot imagine. You cannot start to imagine, we may say. You cannot even dream about it. When sculpting a full body character, is it better to work each body part simultaneously or go to the head first, almost do completion, then torso limbs? Usually when I'm doing a course and when I'm doing a character for, for freelance, I try to make the head almost completed. Not like now, but almost completely to, to make it work. And then I go to the other parts. Because uh, this helps me with uh, psychologically. Because I have something that looks relatively good, and now I am more relaxed, and I'm more, more, you know, sure of my skills to continue and to work it off. Okay, let's inflate a little bit because those were too thin. I think the the ankles, when you do them too thin, they get a little bit, bleh, you know, not so good. They don't look that nice. We should be careful with this thinness these days, that days, dark days, dark days. It's not, it's not, it's not easy. I mean, I said that everything in the female body is difficult, but the legs and the ass to make them look nice and sexy and cool, you know, it's one of the most difficult things probably. And the face, of course, is also difficult. So it's almost everything, right? Yeah, I know. I know. Oof. I just burped garlic. I feel like an old man. You know how the old people, they are eating garlic and go to the bus. And then we're close to the, this old guy. Because they're eating garlic to, to, you know, to boost the immune system and everything. And you're getting there and you're like, oh, fucking shit, man. You're, you know, you're like, <coughs> you know, very. So I'm feeling a little bit like. I'm the old man, and I'm also the guy who is standing next to the old man. I'm both. Yeah. Hello, Nico. Thank you for sculpt 13. Uh, better sculpt style as hair using hair curves or not? Hair curves, hair curves, hair curves. Style as hair. Yeah, if you can, I think there is should be a way to do it. But I don't know. Shout out to you, Nico from Detroit. Love your work, uh, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, you are writing too fast. I cannot read. Are animals anatomy difficult to learn as human anatomy? Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on 3D code? I don't know. Nico's courses are easy to follow because he keeps you laughing through the course. Thank you. Clever. Okay. Uh, when do you think it's a good time during the blockout phase to increase the poly count? When you are ready. Nico, do you feel embarrassed when you're sculpting a female figure's private parts or is it just me? Yes. I feel embarrassed. Have you ever hit uh, punch somebody? Yes. Uh, first time I punched somebody uh, except for my sister. I was, I was, I think, in the third or fourth grade. Mm, we were fighting with one boy, like, the same way in the movies. People were around us, and we were fighting in this circle, you know, punching ourselves. Yeah, we, I think it was like five punches or something, and it was done. Uh, next was when I was uh, around seventh grade or sixth grade, and I was hitting one of my best friends. We were going down the stairs. Uh, in school, and I was bugging him something, like hitting him a little bit with some book, but easy, like, meh. and he uh, get angry, and he pushed me off the stairs, and I almost fell off the stairs, but I managed to get on my feet and uh, go down, and I wait for him, and when he went down, I punched him right into the face, you know, it was, it was like in the movies, but Nothing happened. I mean, he didn't fail even, so probably my punch was not very strong back then. Now, I try to not do that, you know. Do you like to sculpt hard surface characters? Do you think to make a new course in Blender like or course? Uh, yes, this one, uh, as you can see, this concept, I'm probably will do this concept, which means a lot of hard surface will be there. Technique could help, help improve my sculpting and visual library as regards anatomy. Uh, thank you. Yes, that's that's very cool. I started following Nico during his ZBrush days. I was using Blender. Now he uses Blender and I use ZBrush. That's an uh, interesting uh, switch, you know, swap. Hi from Turkey. Turkey. I don't know how now you can pronounce Turkey. 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 Mr. Erdogan is doing strange things. I mean, changing the name of your country. Strange. 
what the, how this helps inflation and other stuff in Turkey, changing the name of the country, Mr. Erdogan. Hopefully he will not win the elections, but, uh, you know, dictatorships, he's a little bit like a dictator. But what do I know? I'm not in Turkey, so no. Watching from Nigeria, 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 very nice. After eating garlic, my belly just inflate like it was using a blender brush on myself. Uh, you mean inflate brush, probably. <laughs> Nico, I put something in whip. It's a character idea that I had with swords sticking in their helmet. <clears throat> Can be drawn during combat. Do you love to hear what I think? A bit hard surface char. Okay, we'll see in the, in the Discord, okay? Would you love to hear suggestions, okay? Nico, knock him out. No, I just punched him and he... He just do this. He didn't even fail, you know, nothing. It was messed up. I mean, in the movies, when you like do this big punch and then like fly, and I did this big punch and he just stand there, nothing. And uh, you know, you know the, the sad part. I punched him in the face, like here, with my fist, and everybody around was like, wow, how he punched him and everything. And he was like, just like this. And he was sad because he was my best friend, you know. And he was sad and going. And I was like, fuck this shit, man. I felt badly. I mean, it was fucked up, you know. Yeah. Nico, do you want to make a company all together instead of working for others? I mean, making movies. M what? Me? Making movies? No. <laughs> do you hate Greece? What? To hate Greece? <laughs> Why? I'm going to Greece every summer, you know. Every September, I go to Greece with my family and we... We have a great time in Greece every every September. It's amazing. Greece is super nice. Did you face any difficulty in early days of 3D? What was it? Everything. Anatomy, especially female anatomy was... And now it's still a little bit like... Uh, you pronounce it almost correctly. Turkey. Okay. Oh, what's up? I hope we will change Erdogan. Yeah, many people hope that, but uh, don't uh, get your hopes too much up because... Dictatorship usually is difficult to remove, you know. With strong punches, as in movies, breaking the bones of your fingers is what most likely will happen. Yes, I know. But we were kids, so my punch probably was not that hard. And uh, my bones were softer, probably. I don't know. Where are you from? Bulgaria. Yeah, Bulgaria. Bulgaria is my country. I hope we'll change. <laughs> Come on, bro, do some sculpt. Yeah, I have to sculpt, you know. Will this be a tutorial? Yes, uh, I hope that this this particular thing will be a tutorial soon, but we'll see. Let's see the um, the Discord, by the way, in the whip section. Somebody said they put something there. This is very nice, by the way. I like it. This is from Sentinel. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Yeah, there are people here that are making great things. Again, from Sentinel. This guy is very, very good. I would say better than me, but no, you cannot, you cannot say that. This is looking good. This is starting to look good. Ooh, Hart is uh, doing great. I mean, wow. You see, I, I like the render so much. It looks almost alive. It's so good. Hmm, Hart is so good. I mean, Stefan Hartmann. Stefan Hartmann, I guess it's um, how we pronounce it in German. Latest work. That looks great, actually. Very nice. Very, very cool. People are doing very good things. I would say maybe, maybe the head have to be a little bit bigger. Because now, Jesus Christ looks like he's around two and a half meters at least tall. He's a famous basket basketball player. But, uh, I mean, yeah. You have to be careful. Ooh. This looks nice, yeah? Yeah. But it will be difficult to do because it's uh, it's abstraction, we may say. <laughs> but it's a good idea. As a, as a kind of a silhouette and stuff like this. If it can be developed, it probably can be a very nice character. Today maybe we will not have time to do our station stuff and our station reviews. But next time, because this is... You know, doing a whole female body, male body is a little bit easier, for me at least. Uh, doing a whole female body is complicated and it's ambitious. It's ambitious. Now we are almost one hour in. 
like 50 minutes in and we have almost everything but we have to finish the head a little bit more but i'm keeping it for dessert because as you probably all know or at least most of you know that i love doing heads female male doesn't matter but monster it doesn't matter heads are my passion that's why this head course that i did uh, this year or last year i'm not sure where i when i did it but it's uh, i think last year i did it yes it's uh, it's very cool because you know when i like doing something and probably i'm i'm doing it right i'm doing it correctly at least i hope so you know but who knows i'm making sure that the the arms of the girl are a little bit thicker in the upper section otherwise she will look awkward <laughs> all right doesn't look ultra bad right yeah let's do uh first before you do fingers we have to do the knuckles because it's better to know where the fingers will be with knuckles so we did the knuckles already and at some point i will have to sneeze by the way so be aware of that I will try to sneeze away from the microphone because um, and usually as you can see I'm touching my nose uh, often because it's it's uh, it's it's scratching me I, I don't know how it's called it's uh, because of the allergy you know it's spring and there are some things in the air which my body doesn't completely like so it starts attacking itself uh, a little bit. It's not super huge, but it's enough to sneeze, to have, uh, you know, the running nose and stuff. But it's uh, it's absolutely fine. I've seen people much, much worse than me, so I am amazingly good. I would say. Or I will not say. We'll see. But I already said it, so I would say. No problem. Please do the R stations. No, we don't have time. No. Nico, questions. Will, will we ever do a tutorial on character and rig it as last and last animated? No, I'm not. Uh, you see, I'm concentrated on character art. And when you find a job in a company, usually you will be a character artist, which means you will not be animator. If you like to be animator, usually we concentrate on that. So you take characters, you rig them, and you animate them. I am just a character art so i don't rig and animate anything also post another whip we like to hear about it let's concentrate on the sculpting uh, her spine is broken it's a little bit broken i think yeah but she's uh she's very flexible let's say she's flexible not she's not broken i'm broken Ugh. yeah pantera there by the way uh Coming to Bulgaria, Pantera. Some of you know, some of you don't know. Pantera is a band, a metal band, pretty heavy metal band, that are uh, I like a lot. One of my favorite bands. But now they are a couple of members, you know, short. The original members, I mean. But still the vocal guy, uh, Phil Anselmo, is uh, alive. And he's... You know, using the Pantera name again, and he's making a comeback. And now they are going to be here. Uh, now it's 23rd of May. They will be here after two days in Bulgaria. But I'm not sure I will go to see them. Maybe I will be disappointed. I'm broken. <sighs> okay, let's do the fingers, by the way. It's time. Time to do fingers. How to do fingers? Of course, I always do a cube. And I just put it here, make it small, rotate it into position, and then do one finger. Then from that finger, I will do the other fingers. Just duplicate and move them a little bit and duplicate, move. move. I always do that. And this is my way. My way on the highway, you know. Will you ever come to Modo and do amazing uh, classes in that software? You would be great teacher showing Modo. 
Have you ever seen mold? No, I haven't. Today I don't uh, feel too well because of allergy. Yes, allergies. I make a Duke Nukem character sculpture based on your curse of orc cyborg. It's good. Go watch Cooper play Minecraft. It's in partner to become a sculptor. <laughs> really? People are selling their software here. Yes, I'm listening to them right now. Interesting. Yeah. Hi from Ecuador, Master Nico. Thank you. Uh, I also like Matera and Zach Wild, which is playing guitar with them. Oh, he's playing with them. That's cool. Finger. Not middle, but finger. Sometimes middle finger, sometimes not. Or how one of the greatest Bulgarian football players say, sometimes win, sometimes lun. <laughs> yeah, the, he was not very good with English, let's say that. But... One of the best football players, Christos Tuichkov. Some of you know him, probably. Uh, he was playing for Barcelona in Spain, I think. So people who are fans of Barcelona might have heard of him. It was back in the days, like uh, around uh, just before the year 2000, in the 90s. He was one of the best Bulgarian football players. But his English was not the best, as his play. How do you pronounce Bulgarian in your language? Bulgaria, in my language, we, we pronounce Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Our language has a lot of, I mean, very hard R. We say Rak, Riba, uh, Reje. Reje means cut. We say Reactiven, which means reactive. Reactiven. <laughs> Amazing. R. Riba is fish. Fish? You see? Fish. Fish. Ah. Riba in Bulgarian. It's like Rammstein. You know? <laughs> Gigi, the best 3D master. Uh, no, not quite. Yeah. Did you hear Bre Petrunko's song? I'm not sure. I, I've heard about it. Is this a good idea to sometimes enable perspective and check the proportions? Yes, I work with perspective always, so probably not. Because if I enable perspective, since it's already enabled, it will be awkward, right? To enable something that's already enabled. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, that uh, we have to not enable things that are already enabled. So, for example, if you go and uh, go to the doctor and say, Doctor, please, I need an eye. But you have two eyes. No, I have to enable my eye. But you have the eye and it's enabled. No, I have to enable. No, it, you cannot do this, you know. Maybe my example was <laughs> not so not so good, but uh, still. It's funny. Because it's stupid. Stupid things sometimes are funny. Sometimes. Not so much. It depends. It depends. You know what they say. Uh, the stupid guy is like dead guy uh, for him no problem for the people around him it's sad and there are problems you know it's like to be dead but who thinks they are stupid they are I mean most stupid people I don't I don't say there are no stupid people in the world there are a lot of stupid people in the world usually they are not in the internet but also, they are in the internet, some of them. So, yeah. But uh, what I'm saying is that uh, I forgot my thought. It was about stupid people, but I don't know what. Ah, when you're stupid, you usually don't think you're stupid. And that's the thing. I could be stupid, for example. But I'm saying, if they ask me, how intelligent are you in the scale from 1 to 10? I would say 8, 9. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Nico big guy but the stupid guy who doesn't know he will say i'm 10 usually ah, and that means he's very stupid you cannot be 10 you know even einstein will not say that he's 10 you know it's just about whatever Reji in Lithuanian also means cut. Yeah, of course, because Lithuanian most likely is a Slavic language, so yeah. Your language sounds almost the same as my language, Slovenian. 
exactly Slavic languages. I mean, Russian, Slovenian, Serbian, Slovakian, uh, Polish, even. Yes, all languages. As if vampires are born there. <laughs> Uh, Romanian, uh, yeah, vampires are from Romania, everybody knows that. And Romanian is not a Slavic language, it's a Roman language. It's more, it's closer to Italian even, I think, than, than to a Slavic language. Romanian. And now, you will notice the other arm doesn't have fingers. What can we do? Can we just go and mirror the fingers? Yes, we can. Amazing. How did Nico do that? So cool, so oh, the best, yeah, doesn't matter. In Persian, we say Bulgaristan. I know Bulgaristan. In uh, many countries which are Arabic countries and stuff, they say Bulgaristan for Bulgaria. Kind of like PTBR says Bulgaria to <laughs> Are Bulgarian politicians still bombing each other? No, no, no. Now they are starting, but uh, a little bit, just with little bombs. In Greek, we call Bulgaria, Volgaria. Ooh, vulgar display of power. May I say, please listen to that Bert Petrunko song. We'll see. We'll see. Which is Volgaria. Aha, okay. You must hear to Tool in order to open your third eye. <laughs> I must listen to Tool, you mean the, the band Tool. Yeah, I, I like some of their songs. Nico, I love your streams. Thank you very much for doing them. Yeah, I'm doing it because I like them and also they are... Bo boosting my sales, <laughs> hopefully. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, saludos, thank you. Saludos, it's salute, saluti, saluti, ebachi. <laughs> yeah, Putin might be somewhere there in the comments. Hopefully not. But if he's there, fuck you, man. For him, just, just to you know, just to spice up the conversation. Some people don't know, but werewolves are Greek. That's cool, yeah. Is 3D a sustainable career in Bulgaria? Also, does AI make a huge difference in your career? Not now, not yet. Because uh, the, the 3D AI is like in his, it, its baby baby stage right now. Hopefully, it will not grow uh, fast faster. Uh, so, it's not making, but uh, 3D is a very sustainable career in Bulgaria, I would say. How many Slavic languages are there? Probably more than 20. Are there many tourists in Bulgaria? Yes, not more than probably Romania because of the Dracula castle and stuff like this. Transylvania and the Carpat Carpathian mountains, they are very beautiful. I bu I I've been in Romania, I've visited the cities, Timisoara, Sigisoara and all the Suaras there, Sibiu. Amazing cities with a lot of history. Some I think some of the houses were like almost 500 years old. I, I'm not sure, but very, very old things you can find in Romania. I mean, Romania, by the way, is very cool. But if we have to talk about Bulgaria, Bulgaria also have beautiful places. Very nice, very nice. Do you use multi-resolution uh, multi modifier for details? Usually not. <clears throat> Sorry I'm late. Does it gonna stay on your channel after? Of course. Uh, like every video that I made, uh, it will stay. Let's go to the face, by the way, and uh, see what we can do about it, and then we will go. Because now the face doesn't look exactly femaleish, uh, in my opinion, at least. So now we have to do some femaleish stuff. Like, for example, let's do lips. Lips usually are making the face a little bit more femaleish, if we do them right, of course. And let's do them right. If we do them wrong, they will look even worse. <laughs> I mean, not, not femaleish, uh, yeah. Okay, those lips are looking blah, rel rel relatively good. I'm saying like blah, blah, but they're not the best. Okay, eyes. Eyes, eyes, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Ice cube. Nico, it would be nice if you had Pantera as you're working. As you're working. Ah, so we can all rock out. That's cool, but... Um, this can be done only in Discord. Here in in uh, in YouTube, they will cut me out. You know, copyrights. Yeah. You should open an old magazine of 90s, let's say Lobo, Judge Red, and try to pick a character and make it. You did Lobo, make Retro. Yeah, I did Lobo, but yeah, it was a little bit more... Uh, 
you know, modern read of Lobo. Now, let's make the chin a little bit smaller, although in the character that I will probably do in the course, the chin will be big. So, yeah. We should make sure we can do big chins and still sexy, what? Sexy female characters. Let's do a little bit nose of a little bit of a nose. The nose is important. If you make a character without nose, it will be very difficult to make it human-like and sexy. Uh, which I mean, most of the time when you're doing a female character, you would like it to be sexy. You know, yeah. I know it could be sexist or whatever, but I'm just saying the truth, my truth. This is my truth. In my world, in the world that I have seen, most people who are making female characters want them to be sexy. There is one very, very peculiar exception, which is <clears throat> uh, this guy, uh, Har Hartman, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Hartman. He has never done a sexy female sculpt in his life, I guess. Because most of his female characters looks like this. This is not probably a female character, but you never know. It could be a female character. You never know. Because his female characters look kind of like this. But he is an amazing artist. I'm mocking him, of course. Uh, it's, uh, it's super cool. But the idea is that... Uh, ooh, this is looking very cool. I, I like the, the silhouette. I like how the, the forms are dynamic. It's like, uh, you know, aerodynamic. Everything is very cool, very cool. Very cool stuff, I would say. Let's like it. Let's like it, everybody. How to like it? Maybe with this we can clap. No, we cannot clap. I don't know how to clap here, but ah, we can clap like this. Yeah, clap. Because it's cool. I like it. North Macedonia think their own Greece is part of Macedonian history and uh, I heard they stole your history too. North Macedonia, I cannot talk about this because, you know, our history, their history, uh, I, I think I know my history, but do I? Because the books of history, they are written by people who are putting some of their thoughts in them. So it's a little bit difficult. When you try to learn the, the, the truth about history, you have to learn, I mean, to read it in English, usually. So in English, in some English channel, I mean, some, some people that are not from Balkans, to learn about Balkan history, more true than not. Uh, so Macedonians, they shouldn't read their books. We also shouldn't read our books. We should read some foreign books. And that probably will be more true than that. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Now we have mono beard. Yeah, mono beard, mono eyebrow. I, if I can connect the eyebrow with the beard, it will be amazing. But I don't think it can. There is no hair in here. Plovdiv the best, yes. Plovdiv is very nice, by the way. My house is in Sibiu. was made in uh, 1776. Six rooms, two kitchens, one bedroom. Very cool. Greetings from Canada. Canada, cool. How are werewolves Greek? I have nightmares of them and I have no idea why. I don't know. Greet me. Yeah. I bow size until now. Bold Dirke <laughs> What? I'm from Kerala. Can you share best anatomy reference for study? No. Because I don't have them now. But if you go to the course, the female anatomy course or the male anatomy course, you will find a lot of great references but you will not be able to get them ah unfortunately uh, you have to gather your own references i know it sounds uh, bad and you want everything to be you know bring to yourself just readily ready for you to sculpt but it's uh, it's uh, gathering references it's big part of Every guy who is a sculptor, a digital sculptor or not digital sculptor, whatever sculptor you are, you have to be able to gather your own references. That's just a must. You cannot go without it. 
We got the fire to burn this motherfucker down. Down. Burn this motherfucker. Dun, dun. Just go ahead and talk shit. Dun, dun. Talk shit about me. Mama Ginger Generation. Yeah, this is a generation from, or my generation, from Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit, I, I, I listened to them a lot back in the early 20s when they, was, they were famous. Now they are not that famous because I don't know they don't exist anymore. I guess, not sure. Or I think they made recently they made a song. I'm not sure. But their old songs were great, so fine. Nico, I was sculpting and my Romanian grandma asked, "How do I create?" Ah, uh, through my screen. Ah, how do I crave through my screen? I don't know what this, uh, what exactly that means. But vampire stuff, no? Because Romanian, you know, vampires. <laughs> I wonder what a female werewolf look like. I don't, I don't uh, want to know. I love you, bro. Greetings from Turkey. Um. Cine also. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's it's a strong word, so we have to be careful with that. Zolan Gilzik Omas, you know. Uh, Limp Biscuit songs now sound corny as hell, but were super cool back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Good old Guitar Hero days. <laughs> Maybe there should be a band called Greek. Yeah, of course. Ah, carving uh, things on the screen, yes. Carving. We, we are not carvers, we are more sculptors, because carving is much more difficult, in my opinion, to be a sculptor like Michelangelo, to carve something with uh, from marble, it's much, much more difficult than to sculpt it from clay, for example. And I think they, Michelangelo and the other artists back in the days, they have made the statue from clay first, and then they made it from marble, because, you know, Marble is uh, one mistake and it's, it's, it's done. It's gone. So we have to be careful. This is the eyeball, by the way. And it will be small eyeball. At this size, probably will be fine. Maybe we can make it a little bit smaller, we'll see. In the town where I was born Live the man who sailed the sea, and he caught us on his line in a yellow submarine. Together, we all live in the yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in the yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Da -da -da -dum. Very nice Beatles. I love them. I love Beatles. I love Queen. I love Manoir, which is not the same as Beatles and Queen, but still I like them. So one of the best concerts that I've been was Manoir here in Bulgaria in Kavarna. It's a small, very small village. Even it's a village next to the sea. It's called Kavarna, and Menoir was there. I mean, not only Menoir, a lot of big metal bands were in this village. Because the mayor of the village uh, was a huge metal fan. Not fan, like rotating, but a fan, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Limbiskit, Cold Cobra. Yeah, yeah, Cold Cobra, I think I heard it. But I don't know exactly. Hmm. Smaller the eyeball, hornier the go. <laughs> He'll only could see you reshape the eye to fit the socket. No. I don't reshape the eyeball. I'm reshaping the socket itself. The eyeball. No, you don't reshape the eyeball. Eyeball should be a ball, you see? A ball. Complete ball. Yeah? Okay. Don't get me wrong. She doesn't look ultra female-ish now, because she doesn't have hair. Without hair, usually it's 
a little bit difficult to make a girl look girlish or uh, yeah so f hair will be appropriate also eyelashes eyelids eyebrows everything of that also cat eyes are more you know nice than not so cat eyes are good to have also big chin usually is not the good thing to have uh, when you're making a girl big chin or big jaw usually is not something that you want but in this case i'm trying to make her look good even with a big chin which usually will not happen but we'll see Maybe I will move this back a little bit, this forward, inflate this area here, inflate. The lower lip has to be more full than the upper lip and more backwards. Usually we want to put it backwards. From, from the profile view, we need to be back. Get back to do no, get back to where you are belong. Dun, dun. I don't know the lyrics of most of the songs. I know a little bit like mm, Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away mm -hmm. Now it looks as old they're here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly I'm not half the man I used to be mm -mm, There's a shadow hanging over me Oh yesterday Came suddenly Why she Had to go, I don't know She wouldn't say mm -mm, mm -mm, I said Something wrong, now I long for yesterday, yeah, 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 yesterday. Okay, we will make the, the chin thinner, <laughs> smaller. Smaller chin is easier, I mean, yeah. We shouldn't make it too hard for ourselves. That hard. Have you heard Massacreation? No. The Beatles, yes. Girls need smoother face of features, sometimes, yes. My mom has big chin, but I don't, eh, sadly. More so than... <laughs> have you visited Sirkova Winery? I'm not sure. She Hulk has large chin, correct? Not so much, I think. Can you sing Master of Puppets? Master! Master! Master of Puppets and Pulling Strings! And that's it. I can. I can sing everything, you know. If I know the lyrics, at least, a little bit. Of course, uh, as I said in the beginning, uh, it's stupid to make uh, sculpts without using references because usually they will not be as good as if you do them with references. You know, So mm, the thing that I'm doing them without reference ha has to not you know, make you do something without reference. Yeah, I shouldn't do anything without reference, by the way, because I'm giving people wrong ideas, which is not good. I may be able to do something that looks relatively fine without reference, but if I use references, it will be much better, <laughs> definitely. So why, sh why I'm not using reference? The same uh, reason that everybody is not using references because I'm lazy mother... No, I'm not lazy mother. I'm just a lazy guy. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Black old sun, won't you come... Oh, this is not a singing channel, by the way. We have to admit that. I mean, we have to say that, at least, for the people who doesn't know. This is not a singing channel, at least. She looked like the ancient one from Doctor Strange. Yeah, because she doesn't have hair. That's normal, yeah. The ancient one.
Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Lucy in the skies of diamond. Du -du -dun -du -du -dun. Lucy in the sky of diamond. Oh. Ciao Nico dell'Italia. Buongiorno. But Nico, what if you want to be creative and explore? Uh, then use creative and explorable references. Yeah. No, no, you can always, of course, when you are kind of confident in your sculpting skills, you can explore, you can create. But in order to create something and explore, for example, you have to do a monster. Because what, what else you will explore? To explore and be creative with a female body, you have to use references usually. But for a monster or something, uh, in order to do a nice monster, you need a lot of knowledge for a lot of things. So, yeah. Not that I don't recommend. Uh, I was doing a lot of monsters back in the days. Mm, drawing them, sculpting. Because monster is something safe to do. Uh, usually, you cannot make a huge mistake while making monster, you know. And that's the bad thing also, because... If you do a lot of monsters, just from your imagination or something, you will not learn too much anatomy, which is necessary. Because, you know, anatomy will help you with the monsters also. Let's get this, apply the mirror modifier, select, control J, and then scope mode R, and just combine the Combine some things, yeah. The legs and the, the the torso. The legs and the torso should be relatively combined, and then we will make a nice fat pads that we are doing now. Fat pads, you know, those fat pads are the fat pads. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So the widest point in the hips of the of your average female should be around this area here. But who knows? Maybe there are other types of females that... Who am I to judge, you know? Maybe some females will be... The widest points will be on their knees. Which I don't seriously doubt that. But, you know, uh, uh, the world is big. And we don't know what's out there. So we have to be careful. You know it's sad but true. Uh, the biggest mistake from Maxon is that that don't take you to to Zebra's live streams. These days I probably will have to work at least one two hours in Zebra's to kind of remember what was what. So it will not be easy. But of course they never contacted me uh, from Pixelogic or from Maxon to. To make streams for them, to you know, for Zebra's lives, but it's fine. And also from Blender, they are not inviting me also to do anything. So I'm just uh, you know, I'm just an exile. I'm a, uh, I'm a renegade. <laughs> I'm just alone in this world, you know. Yeah. So sad, but true. <sighs> Nico, please use references when sculpting in your courses. I usually do. I love your style, but I'm having a hard time following them because I can't see what you are seeing when modeling with your knowledge. Yeah, but I'm trying to, to say it most of the time. Not in the streams. In the streams, they're mostly for fun, not, not so much for learning. Although, yeah, many people say that they are learning a lot from the streams, which is awkward, but not awkward, but strange for me at least. But I'm glad that that's the case. Yeah. I'm glad that you are. Let's make some very, very basic hair. Because we are almost one hour and a half into this. And if I wasn't answering so many questions and speaking with you guys, which is one of the purposes of this live streams, by the way, uh, I would make it a little bit faster, probably. Most likely. But you never know if you don't go... You never shine if you don't glow. 
Hey now, you're an old star, but you came on, get paid. Hey now, you're an old star, but you came on, get paid. All that little thing goes. Me with the start to break up more. <laughs> blackbird singing in the dead of night. I'm the blackbird. Maybe her mouth is a little bit too huge. Yeah. When I see a girl with a lot of um, volume into the lips, I mean, uh, artificial volume, obviously. I always am like, oh, fuck, man, I'm, uh, I don't like it, I don't like it at all, but I'm doing it, as you can see, I'm doing it, but she looks more natural, I mean, if we have to make it look not natural, there will be like this, this will be not natural, because usually when you put volume somewhere, the gravity will take its toll, and the lips of those girls, uh, Sadly, it will go down and it will look something like this and that's uh, Sad pretty sad, but this is more normal You know How come blender doesn't work with artists to stream on Blender's channel like zebras does with pixel? Eh, but that's, that's their choice when you're sculpting women you have to choose what Ethnicity you will inspire from black woman hips are somewhat very different. Yes. Yes. Would you agree? I agree. Nico singing Shrek music. That's <laughs> God damn, I love the wrong lyric with confidence. Exactly. exactly. I know that the lyrics are wrong. I'm completely aware of that. But um, do I care? That's the big question. That's a big question. I'm not sure I don't that much care. Because, you know, this is not a singing channel again. This is just a bonus or a curse. Depends how you look at it. Learn to fly. All I'm all, all your life. You will always sing. Do the meaning, be the being. I don't know about this here. But, uh, you know, everything, when you put it first, when you put it in the canvas, it will look awkward. Then, it may start to look a little bit better when you put more time into it. <laughs> I'm not completely happy with the, with the face yet. But moving it and uh, doing some stuff will eventually, hopefully, do it. Face is important. It's one of the most important features, we may say. so. Uh, we have to pay more attention to it. Doesn't look good. Make the nose smaller. Although there are very beautiful girls with very wide noses, but uh, in this case, we're aiming for something easy. We're aiming for the easy win. Which will not happen, probably. I will need more practice, probably, for the female face. Especially this type, like, like this, with big chin. <laughs> she has a big chin, very big chin. I'm not even watching the stream. I'm just here for the sing. Yeah, sing, sing with it, sing for the year, sing for the month, sing for the year, sing with it. Think for the day. Sing this baby don't hurt me no more. <laughs> uh, baby don't hurt me no more. I don't remember that one. Nico, would you ever try to model something from Loish concepts? I don't know Loish, but probably. You're probably getting a higher return on investment in time by learning to sculpt elephants than humans. I'm not sure that's true. I'm not sure, but who knows? I'm confused about posing process in Blender. In Zippers there is a pose master, but in Blender should we use rigs? Usually yes. 
but I find hard time rigging my high poly scopes. Yes, and also when you rig it, uh, it started to get very unstable if it's very high poly. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a difficult thing to to do. You have to try to do. Sometimes I do it just by by hand, without rig, just moving with masks and stuff like this. So yeah, I miss the postmaster from ZBrush. I hope that ZBrush, uh, the Blender makes something like Postmaster. It will be much easier. But uh, we'll see. Until then, we have to be every man for himself. Run! Uh, do it. I mean, do something. Whatever you can. We need more mass around this area here and this area here. If you don't put a little bit more fat in there, she will look like a concentration cap camp victim which we don't want usually and now the hair is too big we need to make it smaller probably there are issues i'm not saying that this is perfect for this amount of time uh, i should be able to do better but uh i'm talking too much and <laughs> singing too much probably answering questions too much and uh the thing that i'm doing too much for real is uh, making excuses so i'm making excuses too much that's the thing i have to sculpt more and make excuses less and uh, maybe that's true for everybody by the way if you sculpt more and make less excuses 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 excuse excuse me it will be better now that would make a great study, Nico. You do a course on very different. The body mass are on Asian, white, and black only for study. I have to practice a lot for this to be to happen. You know, I have to practice a lot with different body types. It will be hard to find references for everything, uh, the right references. There are a lot of references packs these days in uh, in our station, for example. They sell a lot of references packs, but still, it wouldn't be ultra easy. I would. Say. <laughs> face isn't hard, I think. I mean, I'm not making exactly the same face that we're seeing on the concept here, but I'm trying to aim for something similar, at least. You know, from some points, it looks a little bit like it, but from others, like front, front is bad, it's looking bad. We should see why it is looking not very good. Let's increase the... the... Um, the <laughs> let's increase the poly count. Let's increase the, 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 the poly count. Because... Because... Because uh, when the girl is smoother, she most likely will look better. But don't think that when your shapes are wrong, the smooth will make them better. It will definitely not. And it even can make the things worse. So be aware of that and be careful also. Black Knight is a long way from home. I love the purple, by the way. They are just amazing. Especially uh, Smoke on the Water, Black Knight, Blind Man Cries, and uh, those songs, this album, I think it's an album, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just amazing. Deep Purple. Also, we don't need no education. Pink Floyd. Whoever doesn't see, uh, haven't seen the movie, The Wall. The movie, The Wall. The movie, The Wall is something very abstract. Mm, and uh, I watched it first when I was like maybe 20. And then I watched it again when I was 25. And you see different things when, in different ages. It's a very old movie, but uh, it has animation, it has, uh, you know, 
real actors and stuff, it's it's pretty interesting if you can handle it. And also the whole album is in the in the in the movie. The whole album, the wall. I think it was the wall, the album. We don't need no education. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And we don't need no thoughts control. Dun, 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 no dark sarcasm in the classrooms. Teacher, leave them kids alone. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, teacher. Leave them kids alone. Dun, 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 dun. On and on is just a, another brick in the wall. Why do people sell references created by the AI? Because people are buying references created by the AI. If they don't buy them, they will not sell them, probably. But they're buying them. I'm sure because they're pretty cheap. I'm sure I'm following the woman is hard to ignore in the face. Tinkerbell. <laughs> Maybe. Deep Purple album. You should listen to the Gods of Metal Massacration. I haven't heard them. Bro, you're living. They were nice as well. Saga. Hmm. Have you ever sculpted Johnny since? No. I would love you as my college professor. Uh. Pfft. Cool, but I'm not that old yet for a professor. But as you can see, one of my eyes, this one, is more closed than the other one. If you can see, it's a little bit yeah, <laughs> asymmetrical completely. As every face is kind of asymmetrical. Did you see Did you see Heavy Metal or Fear and Ice movie? Ah, Fire and Ice movie, yes. Heavy Metal, I'm not sure, but Fire and Ice was very cool. It was from... They were uh, filming it with real actors, and then they were over drawing it over that, I think. Can you sing some Bulgarian songs? Um, I'm not sure about the lyrics exactly. Uh, no, yes. It's difficult to uh Pala bala er la bamba Pala bala er la bamba so necesita una porta le gracia <clears throat> Una poca le gracia da nah, una poca le gracia A little bit of grace you know Una poca le gracia a me pat a mi patio ay arriba arriba Ay, arriba, ay, arriba, por ti seré, por ti seré, por ti seré. Seré in Bulgaria means pooping. I don't know. But in uh, Spanish, it's something else. I guess it's something else. <clears throat> Indian songs. Of course, I know a lot of Indian songs. No, I don't know anything about any Indian songs. Indian language, I mean, Hindi or uh, I don't know how it's called. I think there are a lot of languages in uh, in India. But uh, it's very far away from our language. So it's not something to, you know, to just know. Ah, Turkish language is easy. Russian language is easy. Spanish is easy. Everything is easy. But Indian, Chinese also... Vietnamese is not very easy. This uh, haircut, it's bad. I would say it's not good. Even bad. If it's not good, it's bad, right? Yeah. We can make it a little bit asymmetrical to see what will happen. A little bit. Just a little bit asymmetrical. Not too much. But a little bit. I'm not saying that it will be completely asymmetrical, the hair, no, 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 just a tiny bit asymmetrical. Yeah. 
yesterday. Mm, all my troubles seem so far away. Mm, mm, now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly. <laughs> I love Mr. Bean <laughs> when he's, he was like in the movie, like, suddenly. I'm not half the man I used to be. Mm -hmm. There's a shadow hanging over me. Ooh, we have 20 minutes to finish her. I think it, it, she's looking relatively fine. No, even now. This hair is better. For whatever reason, this hair is better than the last one. Yes? Yes? Pink Floyd. The great geek in the sky. Yeah. Axis still popular in Bulgaria. Axis. I don't know. Do you know some music from Brazil? Not so much. Ah, Aziz. Aziz. Aziz is popular, I think. Visit India. It's heaven for foodies. Yes, I know Indian food I like. Although I don't like it that much hot. But I, I eat hot. But not as Indians. Not as the Thai guys. Thailand. Very hot. But very, very tasty. Very nice. Uh, also, who is eats hot? Indians, Thai guys, and I think Mexicans like hot, but I'm not sure how hot they like it. I have to visit Mexico too. We'll see. India has over 20 languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Un poco de gracia. Yeah. Do you know some Brazilian Portuguese? No. So I guess it's safe to say vampires are very polygamists. Could be. Could be. Nobody knows. I don't think every uh, any I mean anybody has met some vampires, so we are okay. I will not make the nipples because um, YouTube will demo demonetize me. <laughs> no, they will just uh, take it down probably. Ah, let do it. No, no, no. I was like, fuck them. Let's do it. No. We have to be a little bit uh, not so rebel, not so stuff like this. You know, we have to be more. Compliant with regulations. After all, the YouTube are giving me the opportunity and all of us creators to do our stuff. So I guess we should be okay with with whatever. With whatever. Never mind. Sometimes you have to use the inflate brush in some areas just to make sure the mm, some fat pads are well placed, we may say. There are fat pads that have to be well, well positioned and placed. Hmm. They're starting to get a little bit too realistic, maybe. But it's fine, oh, fine, it's fine. Uh, can we combine the arms and the body too? Okay, we can. We first have to go to the mm, to the fingers, apply the mirror modifier, take the uh, apply the mirror modifier on the arms too. Make sure we have symmetry. Then we go select arms and fingers. Control J. And now is the time of true. We have to press R and make sure we have very, very high poly count. Otherwise, the fingers will stick to each other, which we don't want. But now it's fine. Now it's fine. And then we can combine the fingers. Not the fingers. We already combined the fingers. Stop combining the fingers since you already did that. You know, that's a good advice. We can combine the torso with the arms. Control J and then R. Let's see how the fingers are reacting. They are fine. Here we will smooth and... Silence is golden, golden, but my eyes can see. Simon and Garfunkel, I think, I think, because I like them too. 
Uh, but yeah. Silence is golden, golden, but my eyes can see. And if silence is golden, I don't know, my channel is not very golden. I mean, it's mostly silver or something like this. No gold in my channel, you cannot find it here. Uh, it's rarely, there are rarely times that I'm silent in my channel. But, uh, you know, that's normal. That's just me. But silence, <laughs> golden, golden. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Maybe she has a very big biceps. We have to just dial it down a little bit. Come on, dial it down. She has gone to the gym and stuff, but come on, not that much. I mean, it's obviously too much. Too much gym. You probably hear also a little bit less pronounced muscles. You know, female body, um, the sexy one, although I find, uh, and most people probably find also some fitness models as sexy, although they have pronounced muscles, but um, normal sexy female body is kind of soft, soft dish. With soft and nice forms. And that's uh, giving us the the arousal or whatever us men i mean dum 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 silence is golden golden not bad i would say i mean uh, for this amount of time this looks good without references also this looks relatively fine i would uh, let's say it's cool maybe when i look at it after I will find a lot of problems, but now I am oh, pff, happy. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy, 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 hippie. Happy, hippie. We don't need too much shadows and light, but still, it could be nice to have a nice render. We'll see. Ah, <sighs> maybe it depends on uh, how pointy an artist make the tatas. <laughs> it's enough to make one full body model each day for practicing. No, of course it's enough. I mean, if you uh, the 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 point is how um, how good is your practice? Uh, how much you are getting more understanding? Let's remove the shadow because I will stutter most likely. How much understanding you will get for muscles and uh, the forms and shapes from just one sculpt each day? You will get a lot if you use a lot of references and try to understand how the forms are going into each other, how the muscles are going. And yeah, a lot of studies about muscles, about forms are necessary to get better with this. But I know I don't know if it's needed anymore. Because the AI is coming for us. But don't worry. I mean if it comes, it will come. The main thing is if you are having fun and if you like it, it will be nice. If you're doing it just to find a job, just to get money from a job or something, then become a lawyer, become a, a doctor. It will be better. With this you can make money, but you have to be pretty good. If you become a lawyer, you can be crappy lawyer and still making money. So I think for money, lawyer is better. Become a lawyer. Come on, everybody. Go, become a lawyer. Everyone is a lawyer, 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 lawyer. Silence is very rare in Nico channel. Maybe that's why it's worth too much like Gotia, yeah, of course. Rare things are golden. 
is it good for rigging or a topology is a must? Uh, a topology usually is a must if you like to do animations. Nico, don't you like Led Zeppelin? I like them, of course. I like all the old bands and some of the new ones. Hi from Sweden. Hello. Do you know Bat Metal? Yes, I know the <laughs> the movie Bat Metal. Trying your coarse arms is hard. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that you find the legs and other parts easy. For most people, everything is hard, but it's cool. It's cool. For me, everything is hard. But I'm trying. I'm trying. At least trying, you know. I'm not saying it's working that much. At least I'm uh, pushing it. I'm, tr I'm trying. Dum 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 dum. Silence is golden, golden. Yeah, we can make her a little bit thicker in this area. It will not hurt. When you sculpt, you always have to look from all sides, from all angles. Otherwise, why are you sculpting, you know? Uh, now, I'm usually when I make a female, or a male for that matter, I usually make the head by default smaller than it should be. Now I think it's a little bit smaller than it should be, so we can go ahead and decrease the size of the body just a little bit, so uh, she will not be like 2 meters tall. Still, maybe it is a little bit too big, the body I mean, compared to the head, but I think it's okay. If she's a hero character or something, it's fine. It's completely fine. It's no, no problem. No problem there. I don't know, YouTube shouldn't uh, care about sculpts. I mean, I'm sculpting this from scratch. I'm creating this live in YouTube. And if they uh, make a problem about nudity of a sculpt, I mean, uh, they have to go and uh, take away all the paintings of Leonardo and of uh, all the, you know, the good artists from back in the days because nudity, you know, ah, you cannot show nudity publicly, no. That's the same in my opinion, at least. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, who knows? Nobody. But YouTube, YouTube is YouTube, they are monopolists they have the mon mon monopoly i don't i'm not sure how it's called in english but uh they can do whatever they want because nobody can say anything you know inspector gadget <laughs> i just remember the the song from the inspector gadget cartoon Shoe feet like looming loom is drawing. These legs are fire. These legs are on fire. These legs are on fire. Big bat nigga will be back. Nigga, dun, dun. I'm saying nigga. It's not good. Probably I shouldn't say nigga on the channel, right? Although I'm not saying somebody is nigger or something they probably will kill this video because of this the n-word these days is um wow back in the days everybody can say nigger 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 no problem now you cannot say that it's forbidden forbidden west why beats me i mean yeah uh, why now why not uh, like 20 years ago or 30 years ago, why not then? Why now? People are getting too sensitive about uh, stupid stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, people will say, yeah, but, but the slavery in America and this uh, is how they were calling the black guys then and uh, it was, uh, you know... Yeah, but what the fuck? Why are you even comparing this? Why is this even relatable to something. I mean, it's shouldn't be, in my opinion. Nigga. <clears throat> Stupid. No. 
Don't say nigga. It's not good. It's not good these days. You can get cancelled for this. For just saying a word. Just because you are singing a song, for example. And back in the days, there were a lot of songs with, you know, the N-word inside. And it was not an issue at all. Everybody was like, yeah, nigga, my nigga, everybody, nigga, yeah. But now, hmm. Maybe there still are. But only black people can afford to say it. If you are a white guy and you say it, hmm. Even some comedians that are speaking about child abuse, 9-11 and stuff like this, they don't say it because they're white. You cannot do it if you're white. No, no. But you see, I'm not completely white. I'm a little bit brown. If I was white, yes, okay, yeah, but I'm not. I'm a little bit brown because I go to the sun. I like the sun. So I can say it, no problem. Greetings from Ukraine. Hello. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Bugin Bugiganga. <laughs> really? Bugiganga. Bro casually saying that. Kniga is book in Russian. Yes, Kniga is book in many Slavic languages, including Bulgarian. And for example, if I go to imagine this, I go to United States and I speak with my girlfriend in Bulgarian. And we say, we say something about a book, which in Bulgarian book is kniga. Kniga. So we say something about a book. And somebody overheard us in the bus, for example. A big black guy. Say, what did you say? And I'm like, what man? We're speaking in Bulgarian here. But you said the N-word. Ah, yeah. Probably, uh, if we, you, if you go to America, you don't talk about books. If you're a Bulgarian or Russian or other Slavic languages, you don't speak about books in your native language because it will be, it will be dangerous. Definitely dangerous. Hello, Nico. Why don't you do a 3D sketch anymore when you move to Blender? I do it sometimes. By the way, you will see. Yeah. When I'm doing something complicated like this, I probably will have to do a 3D sketch. We'll see. Niga means warm in P Punjabi. Yeah, there are a lot of languages in which this word can be something else. Or similar word can be something else. You can always avoid USA. No, I want to go there, by the way. I want to go everywhere. <laughs> so it's you again, great as ever. Have been practicing sculpting in my free time. Proportions are my weakness. And I got better with your advice to use references. By the way, what focal length do you use? I use focal length of 88. Yeah, I know it's uh, odd. It's not 85 or 80. It's 88. But it's more easy to write it down. I mean, write 88 and it's fun. Like 88. I'm surprised this stream is still up. Usually that words get out of fact. Your accent is saving you, I think. Really? It's uh, it's gonna stop uh, the stream. Uh, wow, it's it's so... It's so dangerous nowadays. Just a simple word to say it, it's so dangerous. I don't know. I, I'm... For me, it's... I don't understand it. Please come to Brazil. <laughs> I've came... I was in Brazil, by the way, yeah. Do you come to Turkey sometimes? I avoid Turkey, by the way. I, I will tell you why. Uh, your food is so good, I gain weight. In Turkey, I cannot help myself and I eat like crazy. I'm not hungry at all. We were in this uh, five-star hotel and I was going into the, to the breakfast and I was like, what is happening here? So many things, so good. And I, I'm getting a little spoon of this in a big, big plate. A little spoon of this, just to try it. A little spoon of this, just to try it. A little spoon of this, 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 this. And when I finish, my, my, um, my plate is like this. Like a mountain with different things. And I go eat it. 
very nice, I enjoy it a lot. And then it's time for the dessert. And I go again with the big plate. And then I see all the desserts. And the baklava. I love baklava. We have a lot of baklava here in Bulgaria. Also. Uh, so uh, we go and the Turkish baklava is the best baklava. I mean, uh, we have in Bulgaria baklava. We have Turkish places that you can buy baklava. But it's not the same. I When I was in Turkey, the baklava was just phenomenal. And I just put a little piece of baklava, a little piece of baklava, a little piece of this cake and this cake and this cake and this cake and this cake. And, this cake. and suddenly I have a big plate again with desserts. And I go eat it every day. And this is breakfast. Then I skip lunch because I'm not hungry. I cannot eat at lunch. I'm still full. Then I go to dinner. I'm not hungry because the breakfast was so big. And I'm not hungry at lunch, but, uh, at uh, dinner, but I eat it again. Again, the same full plate with uh, food and then full plate with uh, desserts. And each day for 10 days, I gained four kilograms, four kilograms for 10 days. So I avoid Turkey at all costs. <laughs> I'm joking. I will uh, super will be super happy to go there. Nico, how do you kill laziness? I can't. I just can't kill it. I mean, uh, uh, the only way I can kill laziness is listen carefully. I just go very. It's very difficult, but sit in front of your computer. Open Blender. Delete the cube. Add a sphere. Go to scope mode. And start making a face and then from there it's easy because when for me at least because i like so much making faces that's why yeah. nico do you know cold baklava but all the baklava is mostly cold so yeah congratulations your work is very good i'm from brazil thank you very much thank you very much by the way uh, i like how this came out kind of maybe the face is not the best let's see it yeah, the face is a little bit smaller. Maybe we can make the mouth a bit bigger and it will be better. Let's see. Now, if we make it bigger, maybe we can make the face, overall face, thinner, narrower. Yeah, the face is something that um, takes more time. And we already have passed two hours, so I'm cheating now. Nico is cheater, bastard. You're saying the n-word and then you're cheating. This stream sucks. I will never watch you, Nico. You are so... You are a disgrace of the sculpting community. You don't respect that now the n-word, you shouldn't say it. And you said it a couple of times and you are a disgrace, you miserable creature, Nico. You... You know? Can this be implemented into a game? No. Goku is in Tep City for baklava. Everywhere in Turkey baklava is good. Nico, do you know cold baklava? No. Uh, yeah, we have to finish this. If you come to Turkey, you turn into a country with uh, plus 5 kilo. Yes. That's the true. Mod looks good. Working from female mod at the mo mo mo. I don't know. I like making faces too. At myself in the mirror. Yes, like... Of course. Do you explore ge geometry nodes? Because I find them exciting. Uh, no, for me they are not that exciting. Because I find the most excitement in sculpting. In making characters. With geometry nodes, I'm not completely sure. But probably you cannot make a character with geometry nodes. I'm not sure. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. If you are very good with geometry nodes, probably will be able to. But I doubt it. You know. I defeat laziness by working in bed. <laughs> That's cool. Nice beer, but yeah. It will be bigger if I continue with... Uh, but I will. I will probably leave it a little bit more. Couple of months more. No, when it gets very hot, I will delete the beard, you know. Uh, in the summer. Since I'm doing Nico face course in another screen, I have no complaint in watching Nico more than two hours. That's cool. My laptop is in on top of my stomach right now. <laughs> But be careful, because laptops tend to get hot uh, if they are put on soft surfaces, so be careful. Oh, life, cool, cool, yeah, but we are finishing it now, the life. 
Take it easy on Nico. Yeah, take it easy on Nico. Especially Americans. Especially for the N-word that I said in this stream for a couple of times. I said it completely. I know it's forbidden. In Bulgaria, it's not forbidden at all. You can say it, it's not a problem. But in the United States, if you say it... Even... I, I, as I said, even comedians that are joking about child murder, they are joking about uh, whatever, a lot of stuff, they don't say it. What's happening with this world right now? You cannot joke about anything. You, you have to joke about certain things, but certain things, avoid them at all costs. How long it will take you to re-apologize this? Um, um, let me see. Let's try to re apologize this quick. Quickly. So, um, let's count uh, now 10 seconds. 11, 12, 13, 14. We are at 20%, uh, 22%. I don't think that with uh, 500, 5,000 polygons, but yeah, it's really apologize and it's not bad. I would say it's a good topology. So it took me around 25, 30 seconds to really apologize this. I guess it's a good time. Maybe you want uh, also the head. Let's check it out. Come on, come on. Uh, so, uh, around 15 seconds, I guess, yes. Of course, this with apology is not good. Uh, but it's kind of okay. We can delete the face without the nose. The nose is fine. The eyes, we can delete the areas around the eyes, the areas around the, the mouth, and redo them manually, and it will be good. But the rest is fine, right? So, yeah, it's not difficult. Read apologizing is good when you have the right plugin. Of course, this plugin I restrain of using it these days because it's paid. This is the quadri mesher. It's paid plugin, unfortunately, uh, and the normal remesh here in Blender is not that good. It's not ultra bad though, and I'm using it recently. So yeah. Okay, guys. We need to finish. I will just see one. I will get one pass at the comments and it will be time to finish this madness with the N words and other stuff, you know. Putty Tank is a terrible movie. Okay. Outer Top or Meshadal. <laughs> Maybe someday Nico will have super chat function on stream and people could pay him to retopo manu manually his sculptures. Yeah, I already have the super chat. Uh, oh, that's a plugin. I thought you had to do it manually. Uh, sometimes you have to do it manually, definitely, especially when you are working for mobile games with very, very low amount of polygons. Manual is the way to go. And I've done it in my other channel for a whole character there. You can check it out. 36 or 38 videos. Uh, everything is live. You can see it it's really only good for things with symmetry not so well with unsymmetrical things problem nico would you want to live and work in U, uh, eu uk or usa and why i uh, i'm still in my country and i like it i like to work from my country that's the thing i mean i've been in a lot of countries i've been in a lot of continents i've been in more than 10 continents Believe it or not. <laughs> uh, I mean, the continents in the world, I think, are seven or eight, but I've been in ten. So, Nico can make unusual things, you know. Uh, but uh, I find it nice, but I work in from Bulgaria. It's the best. The traveling is cool, but I always want to go back for, to Bulgaria. Yeah. What software do you use for streaming? Uh, OBS. Just OBS. Great stream, bro. Thanks for the work you do. It's inspiration for me. Thank you. Andres, everything is free if you know where to look for it. Exactly. Can you review my R station, please? Not now. Maybe in the other, we will continue reviewing R stations. A lot of people do have to do it manually. Yeah, I also do it manually. Retopo can be kind of fun. Uh, sometimes, yeah. 
Nico, can we create libraries of the top of sections of the body to save time? Would you advise this? Yes, if you can do nice retopo for a hand, for example, you can try to put it on the hand of your character and just, you know, just fit it into the space. It will be nice. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's good to use for just... Ah, you can also, also do as many people are doing. Uh, start, not from sphere, but from already retopoed face or body or whatever, and just fit it onto your needs. Of course, I don't do that because I told I told you the most fun I have is this first two hours of each sculpt that I do the face and the body and everything from sphere, from scratch, from nothing, and that's my fun. If I get this out of the equation, if I start from a base mesh, where will be the fun of it? I mean, for me, there will be no fun, and my work is also my fun. So. I like to keep it that way. That's why I'm not using base meshes, but for um, for real production and stuff, uh, people are using base meshes. They are using very nicely retopologized base meshes, and they are not remeshing them, they are not doing anything, they are keeping the retopology, and it's fine. It's fine for them. For me, no. I don't like it. 10 continents, yeah, I know. You gotta love the process. Yeah. Fun aspect is always uh, to start from scratch, for me at least. Okay, guys, goodbye and see you in the next stream, which probably we will do something more simple and we will do our station reviews again. Goodbye and take care of your beard.